What is going on everybody? About a year ago, I made a squirrel cleaning video where I just peeled the skin off with my hands and I've gotten messages and comments saying y'all are having trouble doing that or it don't work for you or, or this method doesn't work with larger squirrels. The method works just the same. You just have to figure out a way to apply a little bit more muscles. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to do it if you're having trouble. So the first thing you got to do is just like, just like that last video is you got to take these front feet off and I'll show you why that's important here in just a second. And then you come in here behind the, right at the base of the tail, make you a cut. And you're trying to get between those tail bones. You're not trying to, there we go. Cut through the bone. All right, here's, here's what you got to do. Here's where some of y'all are having trouble. You got to start your cut kind of going around the leg. Skin him down just a little ways. All right. Now, here's what you do if you're having trouble pulling the skin off with your hands. You just take, take it and set it down on something hard, step your foot on it, and just peel it off like that. I hate those geese. Then, this is why you cut the feet off early. Look, you stick your thumb in there and you just pull that skin right, right off. And then, you just Peel the bottom half off. You just kind of work your thumb back and forth until you can get a hold of it. Peel the bottom off. And then you lay them on a cutting board or, or something hard. You take the top half off, get it out of the way. And then you take the, uh, the back feet off there. And then what I do, it's real simple. You just, right there where those muscles meet, I come in with my knife and I open that up. And then I go in like this. And then I turn it over. Just peel up the middle. And you just take your fingers. And I'm holding this backwards on purpose. You just take your fingers and pull their innards out. And you have a skint squirrel. You take them in and cut them up and make dumplings out of them, fry them, whatever you want. So. I hope this follow-up video helps some of y'all that were having trouble, some of y'all that have sent me messages. That is all I have on squirrel cleaning. I don't know how to do it any other way, so I appreciate y'all watching, and we'll uh, catch you next time.